this is Mike's statement um, to the community, or at least to our community, because I asked for our community, uh, on the, the mythology behind the update in the community reaction. So Mike says, I don't think there's anything I can say that hasn't been said already, to be honest, but diving in, the game's economy is in a dire state and it was slowly getting worse. I started making adjustments to the economy, namely with the tiered QP refills, which made a massive impact of gold generated from quests, but that was only a quarter of the solution. The massive glaring issue right in the epicenter was the gold from the NPCs. It was broken simply due to lack of foresight on myself when I first built the system. I never thought it would scale as high as players who are reaching unfathomable levels. When the NPCs were distributing EXP many, many moons ago, you need to be mindful that the higher level players were in a bracket of around 5,000 to 15,000, which is completely different now, right? Now it's the norm for players to get thrice that with relative ease, and as the goal directly scales with the level, it quickly became unwieldy. I already tried fixing it by catering to both sets of players, both low and high level last year. By introducing a sliding scale, version 11.19, but that barely made a difference at all, hence the big changes now. You can actually see for yourself how much of the economy is in shambles by going here. So he linked um, the, the gold graph, and it's from all the way July 2021 to now, and I'm able to show this with you. At least I hope so. So let's see here. Um, yeah, here it is. Just kidding, it's a Steam Hentai game. No, I'm kidding. So here's the graph he showed uh, using Teddy Bear. Isn't that cute? And as you can see here, it's just a it's it's a high climb. And it just goes up. And of course, if you're a financial analyst, you see this and you go, when's the drop? So that's what he shared. Um, I'm pretty sure this link is public. I can post it later. Yeah, it's public. It's through Teddy Bear. Duh. Moving on, he says the gold surplus in the game literally doubles every year. The fact of the matter is people have been complaining about the economy being in shambles for years now. And when I finally make a change that will cause a massive shift and fix one of the most glaring issues the game has to date, it's suddenly the end of days and I am the literal <laughs> antichrist. I think it will be more important to highlight how absolutely atrocious some players have reacted to this change and how utterly appalling some of the comments have been. To be completely honest, I am absolutely ashamed to be spearheading such a product at the moment when there was a very vocal group of players completely disrespected me, but berated me personally, and I even read a message that briefly uttered death threats. I completely understand that it was most likely sent in jest, but the point still stands at the absurdity of it all. Luckily, I have rather thick sin, so I don't shy away from criticism, and this doesn't really affect me too much personally. In fact, as history has shown time and time again, I do not shy away from it, but in fact, welcome it if it is constructive. However, I received nothing of the sort. Despite all the complaints and the venting, I have received exactly zero emails outlining their feedback in a professional, understanding, and respectful manner, yet all I have read are distasteful messages directed towards myself and the game that have been vented in external servers. Again. As always, if people have actual valuable constructive feedback, my inbox is always open. It's not bloody rocket science, lol. Nevertheless, I think this has given me a stark reminder that the game's vocal and engaged community can shift in a moment's notice if things don't go their way. However, I truly appreciate the individuals who have reached out to me personally with an exceptional amount of level-headedness explaining that, despite them being directly affected by the changes, they were level 50,000 plus, they ultimately understood that the change was necessary for the game's health and longevity. I should also mention that, as with literally every update, I usually wait a week or so to review any changes, especially as drastic as this one, and I'm not afraid to reverse change course if necessary. Reverse slash change course. Though that, that said, I need to emphasize uh, that the fact that the game's health and longevity is the utmost important factor in that decision and reversing a change because players simply don't like it in quotes is enough for me to do so so that's mike's statement uh for the couch cat community 